Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the error. Microsoft Excel is waiting for another application to complete an early action when you're trying to open Microsoft Excel or work in Microsoft Excel application. Now, you might come across this error message when you're trying to work on an Excel and uh, your Excel might randomly close or it would prompt you to click on OK or cancel. Now, there are a couple of ways to resolve this issue. The first method to resolve this issue is check where your Excel file is being saved. In case if your Excel file is being saved on a drive like Google Drive or a OneDrive, the best thing what I would suggest you to do is copy that file and paste it locally on your desktop or in your documents folder and then try to work on an excel file and check if your issue has been resolved in case if it works well and good you don't have to worry about the the second method to fix the problem is to go ahead and enable the dde feature which is for dynamic data exchange to do this you will have to click on file at the top left corner of your excel and then click on options once you click on option you will have to go ahead and click on advanced from the left hand side now to your right hand side you will have to scroll down until you find the general option under general make sure ignore other application that use dynamic data exchange dde has been unchecked make sure it has been cleared and once it has been unchecked you may go ahead and click on ok close excel and then try to open excel file and check if you are facing a problem in case if it works well and good you don't have to worry about the next step in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and disable all add-ins in your excel now what this means is in case if there are any softwares associated with excel that needs to be disabled to do this you will have to open excel once you have the excel open you will have to click on file at the top left corner then click on options once you click on options on the left hand side you will see add-ins click on add-ins under add-ins make sure the add-ins are disabled for excel so you can start off with excel add-ins and then click on go in case if there are any add-ins which is being checked you may go ahead and uncheck them click on ok once that is done the next is go back to the add-in option again and see if there are any com add-ins in case if there are any com add-ins you may go ahead and disable them by unchecking them click on ok and also check if there are any other add-ins which are associated with excel by clicking on add-ins and then you can go under actions see if there anything has been uh, enabled once it is done uh, you may try to close excel and then try to open excel and check if your issue has been resolved in case if it has been resolved well and good you don't have to try the next step next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and repair your excel to do to do repair what you need to do is uh, you need to press windows and r simultaneously on your keyboard and in the run window you will have to go ahead and type appwiz.cpl and click on ok this will take you to the programs and features window basically it will give you the list of programs which are currently installed on your computer in this list look for microsoft office so in my case i'm using microsoft office 365 apps which is a subscription so you can highlight in case if you have any other version you can highlight the microsoft version and then click on change in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now you will be prompted for two options one is for quick repair and one is for online repair in case if you are using the subscription version or an online office 365 i would strongly recommend you to go with the online repair in case if you're using a standalone installation go ahead with the repair once it is done click on repair wait for the repair to complete once the repair is complete then you can try to restart your computer then try to open excel and that should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.